Hello there everybody and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga DLC review. Today we're going to be looking at the Obi-Wan Kenobi DLC for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and this is a pretty decent pack. I'm excited to show you guys. We have a variant of Obi-Wan Kenobi, a variant of Darth Vader, the Grand Inquisitor, Reva, and the fifth brother in this DLC pack, and I think my favorite character in this pack is probably either the Grand Inquisitor or the Fifth Brother, and my least favorite character in this pack is Darth Vader. I'll go through every single character individually and tell you what I think about them, but before we do that, please make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with more videos just like this. Now, let's get right into the DLC review. Now, let's start off with Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's basically just a reskin Jedi. He's very similar to Kanan if you watch the Rebels DLC pack video, where he's just kind of a generic Jedi with a cool skin. But overall, there's not really too much going on with him. I'm just glad that they didn't choose the other Obi-Wan appearance that they made into Lego form, but basically just looks like a normal Jedi Obi-Wan. The blue tunic makes a big difference, and I'm glad they went with it. Now, as for Darth Vader, this is probably one of the most disappointing DLC characters they released alongside that holiday R2-D2. With this DLC pack, it's just Darth Vader without his helmet, and, I mean, I get what they were going for with the Cracked Mask Vader, but this is not what Cracked Mask Vader looks like. This looks like Helmetless Vader. I don't know what they thought they were doing different here. They just added a different face underneath a character that already exists in the game. So, I'm very disappointed with this character, but it's still Darth Vader, so Darth Vader is a cool character to play in the game. It's just a weak DLC pack character. Next up, we have Reva, and she's kind of generic. I don't really have any complaints about her. She does have the new Inquisitor lightsaber. I am a fan of the Inquisitor lightsaber in this game. It would be really funny if we were able to fly with them, but I also understand why they are not. That was a really stupid thing they added in Rebels, in my opinion, but super funny to be in a LEGO game if they added it, which they did not. One interesting thing I noticed about her is that they added a full cape onto their minifigure, and Reva's minifigure in LEGO form, the minifigure form, does not have an actual cape. She has one of the newer capes that are really thin, like Mando. So interesting to me that they added a full cape on her when her minifigure doesn't have it, but honestly, it doesn't make too big of a difference. It's just something interesting I noted. Her minifigure is the exact same as the LEGO one. There's no arm printing. There's no leg printing. It's kind of generic. But, I mean, if you like the character, you'll like the minifigure. Next up, we have the Grand Inquisitor. And man, the Grand Inquisitor is one of my favorite original Rebels characters. He's just so cool. And this DLC pack just shows off how cool the Grand Inquisitor is. I think it's really funny if you, like, look closely. His face is, like, going from frowning to smiling all the time. It's really cute, actually. Kind of funny. But it's really sick how he swings his lightsaber. It's very similar to Darth Vader's animations. The armor just makes him look badass as hell. And I love how there's a feature where all of the Inquisitors can put their lightsaber on the back uh, instead of on their side, like where the hilt actually goes, which is a really cool feature. There's not too much to say about him, except I just really like the Grand Inquisitor, and I just really like the minifigures they always make for the Grand Inquisitor. So I'm always going to like the Grand Inquisitor and whenever LEGO makes something with them. Next up, we have the Fifth Brother, and the Fifth Brother looks great. Again, he's just a minifigure from the set, there's not really too much to say about it. Again, he's also got the double-bladed lightsaber, unlike the Grand Inquisitor who had the one. But the cool thing about the fifth brother is actually his animations when he jumps. It's very similar to Ezra's animations. Ezra jumps around and does circles and backflips and whatever, and it's really cool how they do it. And this is definitely one of my favorite Sith characters. I think he's up there as one of the best. They nailed the mold and the armor, just like the Grand Inquisitor and I can't wait to use him more in the game. What's really cool about this DLC pack is because we have so many Inquisitors, you can use them with the Rebels DLC pack, and it would feel like it mashes really well. You can have Ezra versus the Fifth Brother and Kanan versus the Grand Inquisitor, and it would just feel like it belongs in this game. TT Games did a great job nailing all of these molds down for this DLC pack. So my ranking for all of the characters in this pack would be first, probably the Grand Inquisitor, second, the Fifth Brother, third Obi-Wan Kenobi, fourth Reva, and fifth Darth Vader. I would give this pack a solid 9 out of 10. I think they could have done so much better with the Darth Vader minifigure, but besides that, this is a pretty perfect DLC. I don't really see what else they would change about this. It's based off of the minifigures from the LEGO sets that LEGO has released, and I really think they nailed it. I think it would be really cool if they added Ned B in here. But also, I know they're just trying to add five characters per pack, and I don't think they should have prioritized Ned B over any of the other characters in this pack, maybe except Darth Vader. But overall, I really enjoyed this pack. It's up there as one of my favorites, but not the best. Thank you guys so much for watching this DLC review. If you did enjoy it, please let me know by leaving a comment saying what you thought of this review, as well as leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I have more of these on the way, so if you want to stay up to date with all of the DLC reviews and more LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga content just like this, Turn the notification bell on so you never miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.